Using ideas discovered whilst creating Happy Mail, I'd like to recreate them in my French Linen Botanical Journal. Hello and welcome to the Treasured Page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. And you might be wondering why I still have one of my Happy Mail envelopes in front of me. Well, yes, I have sent off eight, but the ninth one is still with me and it is unclaimed. So I will be reallocating this and giving somebody else the opportunity to win it by having a look on the um, comment picker and we will be finding out who is going to win this in a second chance uh, competition so I will be announcing that a little bit later in this video so I wanted to just take you along for the journey of how I got to this point and then what the result was at the post office today so if you're just tuning in this is what has happened from unwanted Amazon packaging in the larger size I have recycled them into smaller style envelopes by cutting them in half using the guillotine and from there I've created nine envelopes for which I was able to tape down one side using parcel tape and then what I took was some gesso white paint with a paintbrush and I covered the surfaces of all of the envelopes. I gave it a first coat and that was to cover the black writing of the marketing. And then I took some acrylic paint and I put down blobs of coloured acrylic paint in various locations on the packaging and I swiped it over to create a loose colour wash scene on each envelope. Um, it was very fun to paint and I painted the front and the back and I was able to collage and stamp and really have a have a nice time with some napkin, book page and some ink and stamps and old dictionary. So this was the end result and I just forgot to show you what I had done on the back. So that is how they all appeared on the back with more butterfly napkin which I've added. So I've added butterfly napkin to the back and they all looked like that. And then I just thought I'd take you along to see the reaction at the post office today from the post lady. Now, this is a different post lady. It does appear that the grumpy post lady no longer works at the post office. And we have a new post lady. And this is what happened today. I've got three for the UK and five overseas. Different envelopes. I'm sorry, post lady, what did you say? Different envelopes. Yes, I did them myself. <laughs> what, you made the envelopes yourself? Yes, of, they're recycled out of Amazon packaging. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen that was Donna blissfully unaware at how she had utterly made my week Okay it's giveaway time so I am redrawing a new winner for the ninth prize that was not claimed in the original giveaway So eight prizes have been claimed and sent and this is the ninth and final prize So if you are a winner you definitely need to get your address over to me as quickly as you can. I've put everybody back into the comment picker and we're going to see if we've got a new winner. So good luck everybody. Let's re-pick. Brandy! Oh brilliant! This is for you Brandy. You are in Washington in the USA so that's excellent oh that's lovely brandy so you've been watching the channel for a really long time so <laughs> and you are responsible for, for us making this because this was a suggestion by brandy originally so thank you brandy because i ha i am 
using this a lot I love this um, so if you'd like to see this there's a link for that I shall find that for you and well done Brandy so if you could get your address over to me Brandy I will get that off to you to go out to Washington so yay okay let's hope that you watch and hopefully you'll get your address over to me if not there will be um, there will be another quick fire round next week to to claim this prize if it's unclaimed by Wednesday Brandy please so if you could get your your address over to me by Wednesday that would be brilliant so Wednesday end of the day on Wednesday uh, US time okay okay what I wanted to show you is using the ideas that I have um, discovered whilst making the happy mail I really liked this orchid image on the napkin that I found uh, so this was just napkin and I've added the image of the orchid onto a page here so I just thought I'd show you that and that's how that's looking so I, I used a wet glue and I've also used some if you can see some Japanese paper which I've got here it's Japanese script paper and it crinkled up with the wet PVA glue that I used which I really liked because it's aged it and I have been able to just go over with the ink dauber and just I'm going to do it here as well just to emphasize some of the raised parts where it's crinkled in in the uh, wet glue and that's now dry so that's lovely so that's just a little bit of that page uh, just a bit little bit of that napkin on there and then that is just I think that's really nice it works with the colors and this paper and it's absolutely lovely so on this paper the relief image here the little white spots was actually rice where I scattered it so I think that works quite nicely to have an oriental twist to to the page um, it would have been one of the places that they would have visited um, China and Japan and uh, they were looking for orchid along the way in in this era it was um, well before actually so orchids would have been hunted for by the by the plant hunters before Arthur Bully's time so that would have been in the 1800s but they were still continuing to look for things like this so I would like to do another page where there's mountains on it so I'm building up for that one um, I'm not going to do anything more in here tonight but what I will what I will let you know is I um, one of you um, get, gave me a really um, good idea is that when I was putting this together I put some tissue paper over the top of this bright shiny background here so I might even do that now just as I'm thinking about it I actually got some glue here a little bit of glue left so I'm not keen and you'll see it in this light this shiny effect here so I'm just going to put some wet glue over the whole lot here and I'm going to put some vintage sewing paper over the top of it and I think that's just a really great way of muting down anything a little bit more modern so if you've got magazine or some old uh, what might you have um, calendar paper you know where you get shiny but beautiful images from a calendar and um, they can all be used in a junk journal but sometimes you just don't want to see the shininess and you might want to just bring a vintage tone to the piece so this is what I'm going to attempt here with this glue it's slightly watered down um, which makes for a nice runny page, right, or a nice crinkly, crinkly effect on the page actually. And this is the sewing paper that I've got. So let's just tear a bit of that and see if we can, I don't really want the black line, but I don't think we're gonna get away with it. So we might have to have that. <laughs> uh, Okay. So 
So I don't mind a crinkle, but I don't want a massive crease. And I don't mind the black line either because that just shows you what it was. So if I get a sufficient wet glue under there, I should get a translucent effect. So you can see that worked out. I just want to make sure I can see the butterfly. Yeah, so I have to work quickly here really because the trick is not to, I want to be able to see the image through the paper, but to mute that shininess. So it should soak in enough. I haven't got my big wide brush here, so we're operating on very small brush, but you know, that's sometimes that's all you have to hand, isn't it? So what I want to do is probably wait now until that has dried and then cut that away. But um, in the interest of rebelling against that idea, I shall try and find my craft knife and see if I can just remove that bit. Just remove. That. I don't mind if it tears, that's fine, because so I just want to get that stuck down. And that, that's a scrap I can use, a bit more fibrous. interesting paper different paper okay so that's that's looking very good uh, i've got a bit of i don't know i think i need to probably wait so i've got this bit of fabric that might look nice up there but i'll have to let that dry okay so there we go i've done i've sort of got a bit further forward now um, having done that one and done that one, I've got I found some more fabric. So, and I've got this little cluster here where I've added one of the stamped images. So I'm going to put that somewhere. I'm going to leave it. So I shall be back with the next video, and then we will get on. And what I would like to do in the next, the next thing I do in this journal is definitely going to be the front cover. I've got a panel now that I've saved from a cereal box. I'm going to have a fabric fol folio type opening door sort of an idea so I'm going to do that that'll be probably the next video and then I feel like I can put this a bit more to one side just pretty much complete because there's only a few other oh there's going to be something to do with mountains and the front and then I probably want a concluding back page here and it's got to be something red because I want it to tie in with my little red apples on the tree um yes so that's all to come so thanks guys for watching that's lovely well done everybody so i'm going to leave it there so we've done a page we've seen the post ladies reaction i'm very pleased to now be able to go there and uh, that ought to be quite a positive experience this is going to hopefully go back out to the states and um that will be amazing so that's all in there all wrapped up ready to go Oh, well done, everybody. So thank you for joining me today um, and, and keeping up with the little news. I will get back on to some uh, more in-depth crafts very, very soon. And I'll see you on my next video. OK, guys, so thanks very much for watching. And above everything else, just slow down and make crafting time for you. Bye bye now. Mm -hmm.